Welcome to Salient Training's Job Aid videos. In this video, we'll show you how to use our License Distribution Utility, or LDU. The LDU is a self-extracting executable that should be run on either an existing management server or a workstation with the CompleteView desktop client already installed. The LDU allows administrators to generate feature key requests and distribute those feature keys to multiple recording servers attached to the management server. This saves you time when upgrading to new CompleteView software versions or when you need to add additional camera licenses to individual or multiple servers in your deployment. We've got a checklist with all the steps, so let's get started. All right, here is the LDU checklist that will help guide us through the process. There's only a few steps to using the LDU, and they start with downloading the LDU from the Salient website. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. To download the LDU, open your browser and visit the Salient website at www.salientsys.com. Once there, hover the support link and select Software Downloads. On the Downloads page, scroll down and look on the left side navigation for support tools, then select it. Once you're in the support tools section, you'll see the CV license distribution utility. Download the LDU. And optionally, you can also download the license distribution utility user guide. This is a PDF that you can keep on hand for future reference. All right, let's head back to the checklist and see what's next. Now that we have the LDU downloaded from Salient, we can mark that off our list. And we can move on to the next four items. Running the LDU, logging into the management server, creating the feature key requests, and submitting the request to Salient. So let's get started on those. Okay, to get started on a license request, Locate your downloaded license distribution utility executable and double click it to run the self extractor. Once this opens to the login screen, you'll have to enter in the address for your management server. This should be using the protocol http colon slash slash followed by the IP address for your management server then another colon with the port number 8095. In the username and password, go ahead and enter in a username and password that has administrative privileges on the server. And once you've got that in, go ahead and select Login. And this will take you into the LDU. You'll see that you have a list of all your recording servers. These are all sortable by the columns. You've got your license types, what version of software you're currently running on these systems, two columns for IP licenses available and used, and analog licenses available and used. And then you'll see the last two columns are for any upgrade keys. If you want to switch between versions, we can do that with this LDU. And you can also add camera licenses to your servers. So if I want to upgrade, I can select all three of my version 6.1 servers and then I can choose a version seven feature key. Now, when I select that, you'll see that storage pools is automatically selected. This is what we wanna see. Go ahead and choose done on there. And then if I come over here and hit apply, it's going to put those upgrade keys in that column for me. Okay, this is creating request for salient to do this. I can also add camera licenses. If I wanna add the same number to all my servers, it's just entering the number of IP licenses uh, you know, I can put in whatever I want, hit apply, and it will fill in the columns. Or if I only want to add licenses on a few servers, I can select the individual server that I want, put in the IP license, for example, 10 on this RS2 server, choose apply, and I get 10 in my license blank. If I want to add cameras to a different server for like RS3, I can put in a request for eight camera licenses on that server, and it goes in the blank. Now, once I've got all of my upgrade keys and new IP license requests set, 
what I need to do then is select the servers that I want to generate a request for. So I want to generate a request for servers 2, 3, and 4. I select this button right here, Generate License Request, and it's going to ask me where I want to save this. Give it a name. We usually recommend naming the file with your company name, key request, and the date that just helps us track it. Go ahead and save that file. I'm just going to save it right to my desktop. And then I'm going to minimize the LDU. And here is my license request. This file needs to be emailed to licensing at saliencysys.com. The address is on your screen. And once they get it, they'll fill it out with the proper feature keys, and they're going to send it back to you. Now, if you are requesting IP camera licenses, you will need to include a purchase order for those. I'll just make sure that comes with the email, and the licensing desk will take care of you. All right, let's head back to the checklist. We're going to mark these off, and then we're going to do an import of a license file. All right. We successfully ran the LDU, generated our key request, and emailed the CSV to Salient, so we can mark those off the checklist. Now, typical turnaround time on feature key requests is usually the same day, so you should be receiving an email from the licensing desk within a few hours. When you receive the completed key request file, then we can apply that key file to our recording servers. So let's go do that. All right, when you finish your license request, get it sent out to Salient, they've responded with a completed CSV ready for import. It's time to distribute those licenses. So you'll want to go back and run that license distribution utility again. And when that opens, go ahead and log into your management server, just like we did when we created the request. The information should be cached on your system, so it'll probably keep that address and the username for you. Just enter your password and select Login. And then instead of creating a license request this time, we want to distribute the licenses that were received from Salient. So select that tab, and here's where you'll browse. You'll use Windows Explorer to locate that completed CSV that Salient sent to you. Go ahead and select Browse. And in the Windows Explorer that opens, navigate to wherever you save that CSV from Salient, select it, choose Open. You can verify that you have the correct number of camera license requests per server, and you can also verify that you have the correct upgrade keys if you've requested those as well. I would check this before you run anything else. Just make sure that these two columns are correct. And when you're satisfied they are, just select Apply. You'll see a little status bar going across, and then you should see successes as those feature keys are pushed out to your recording server. And once that finishes, you have now completed the task. Uh, your servers have been upgraded with the new feature keys, and they have their camera licenses if you requested any, and they'll have those upgrade keys available so you can update the software in your servers. And that's it for the LDU. Okay. Applying the key file was the final step, so we're done with our checklist. If you found this video helpful, follow us for more job aid and tech tip videos. If you have an idea for a future video, let us know by sending an email to training at salientsys.com. Thanks for watching.